What gets lost when you take two Roland Boutiques, the TR08 and the TB03, about $800 worth of gear, and condense it down into a $200 kind of micro instrument? Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Zach Moore from Alamo Music here in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications. This is our Alamo Sound Lab channel where we talk about all things music tech related. And today we're talking about one of the other Arias, the Roland T8. And I have to say, I was super surprised by this one. It, you know, it's almost <laughs> the Juno 60, the J6 that they made that's uh, based on the Juno 60 kind of ACB engine is almost, the Juno Mania is almost a cliche right now. The amount of, uh, the prices on the vintage instruments, the amount of recreations there are in the marketplace, and the only other one that is probably more played out than the Juno is the, the TR-808 voicing. And so, do we need another clone of a TR-808? Well, Roland seemed to think we did, and they put it in the T-8, and I have to say, I'm surprised. I was really surprised by this instrument. I think they paired it with a kind of 303 squelchy um, style uh, kind of single oscillator sequenced instrument. And basically what you end up getting is kind of a 808, 303 pairing, um, an acid box, so to speak. And um, it's a pared down 808, it's a pared down 303, but it actually, those instruments all the extra stuff on them is not necessarily, I mean, it is necessary if you're, I mean, there's there's thing, there's thing advantages to having more controls and the full feature set and um, you can do more with it, but they really kind of narrowed it down to the essentials and it's a lot of fun to play. It sounds really great. It's ACB technology, which I think is some of Roland's best kind of digital emulation um, technology and this thing just sounds really great and is a lot of fun to play um, and is really pretty inexpensive for what it is. I, considering that it would run you a couple hundred, a couple hundred bucks for a TB03 and a couple hundred bucks for a TR808 um, clone, the TR08, and it's probably one of the least expensive ways in a hardware format to get really good emulations of the sound. So let's take a listen. I'll conclude with some final thoughts.
So uh, there you have it, and it's kid friendly. <laughs> it's not they break it. It's not going to kill you. But I would say it's it's more it it's kind of an adult toy as well, and and a musical instrument. I'm sure you could use this on a track to sketch out some things. Um, doesn't have the most outputs. You can do mix in. Um, does have MIDI in and out, sync in and out. Um, it's a lot of fun to play with, though. I I have to say I had a lot of fun just screwing around with this, and it it is deeper than you would expect for a 199 instrument and it sounds really great again it's using that acb technology which i think is is some of their best kind of technology that they have currently and in general across manufacturers really wonderful sounding so definitely worth checking out definitely not a bad value would love to hear your thoughts leave a comment below um have you played with one do you think there is space for this in the marketplace is this annoying that they keep coming out with kind of derivative products of old technology? I love people always say that they think it's a cash grab, but actually I think this is pretty good value for what it is. And uh, uh, Josh and I were talking earlier and he was like, yeah, that thing sounds pretty good. So those are my thoughts. Uh, if you didn't hit any, if you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe. We'd love to see you here again. And until next time.